Today on Toy Habits, we are taking a look at the Master of Capture and the Bodyguard to King Randor and Queen Marlena, Clamp Champ, and we'll also be comparing him to his vintage figure as well as his Masters of the Universe Classics design. And before we get into the review, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted to the latest reviews, news, and episodes when they drop. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits and today we are taking a detailed look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Clamp Champ, his weapons and accessories, and comparing him both to his vintage figure and his Masters of the Universe Classics version, and if that wasn't enough, Beastman has graciously offered his services to show you how Clamp Champ's Techno Clamp operates. And let's start off like we normally do and look at Clamp Champ's packaging. And Clamp Champ comes in the Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe packaging, which is wider than the standard figure. And you can see that he is a deluxe figure with all of these wonderful accessories that he comes with. And you can also see this pretty cool illustration that they've done up here. So let's take a look at that now. And taking a closer look at the illustration up top, I really love this image of Clamp Champ and he's holding his pincer and I just love the way this is animated with all of the shading that they've given him. It really brings out all the muscle tone in these hulky Masters of the Universe figures. And looking at the top of the back of the packaging, you can see another amazing illustration that they've done. And Clamp Champ is using his Techno Clamp and just squeezing the life out of Ninjor. And it looks like Ninjor has fired off an arrow and Clamp Champ has caught it midstream. And it looks like King Randor in the background is looking on in delight or shock. I really can't tell what his facial expression is, but all I hope is that we get a King Randor Masters of the Universe Origins figure in the future. And looking at the rest of the packaging, you just see some illustrations of the other toys that are in the line and some instructions on how to operate Clamp Champ's Techno Clamp. And Clamp Champ does come with a mini comic called Battle Armor Reborn. And I wish that they would give the figure that's in the package center stage on these mini comics and make the comic all about them. But this is what we have here. So you can see Clamp Champ is on page one. You can see him a little bit on page two. He is also on page three and page four. And he is also at the end in page five. So I would say there's about a quarter of him in this mini comic in its entirety. And now that Clamp Champ is out of the box, let's first take a look at his head sculpt. And I really love the way they did his head sculpt here. And you can see that his facial expression, he's gritting his teeth and you can see his cheekbones actuating there. And you can see some of the flesh that's protruding from his cheeks there. And if you were actually to mimic yourself clenching your teeth, your face would actually take on this particular look. So I think they did a very good job there. Also with the furrowed eyebrows and the lines on his forehead, I think they just gave him a very natural look for his facial expression. And another aspect that I really love about this head sculpt is the way his eyes are drawn. And if you notice, his irises are not dead center. They are up into his head and to his eyelids. So he's looking up and just making a very stern look and it really goes along with his facial expression. And moving down to Clamp Champ's torso, you can get a good look at his armor. And what the Origins line does really well is recreate the classic vintage look and feel of the original armor that Clamp Champ had. And this is exactly what they've done. All the way up to the silver detailing on the upper chest plate armor here, all the way to all of the blue cross hatching that you see here. And we'll take a look at his armor in a little bit when we look at his accessories because I'll rip this thing off of him so you can see. But this armor is very squishy and it reminds me of some of the armor and accessories that come in the Masters of the WWE Universe line. There is no hard plastic anymore and it's all this like squishy bendy material which is really cool. And Clamp Champ comes with the standard Masters of the Universe jacked arms and a silver cuff to go along with his vintage look which we will compare in a minute. And if you take a look at his loincloth and his belt, it really mimics that vintage feel with the red loincloth and that silver belt. 
And moving down to his legs and his shoes, Clamp Champ comes with the standard Masters of the Universe Origins legs, and you can see that they are super muscular and super striated, and his shoes are the standard boot that come on these Masters of the Universe figure, but although these ones are painted red and black. And since Clamp Champ is a deluxe figure, he does come with a lot more accessories than a standard figure. So let's first take a look at his alternate head sculpt. And I really like the way this is done as well. Clamp Champ is given more of a freakish grin and he looks very happy in this particular head sculpt. And you can see that they had, they drew some nice jaw lines on here and they even painted an eyebrow that is raised up, which kind of reminds me of the people's eyebrow that The Rock does. I also like the way that his cheekbones flare up by his nose and a lot of the frown lines you'll see on his forehead uh, give the figure a really good look. Next up, let's take a look at his alternate hand, and this hand is a left grabbing hand, and which is appropriate because Clamp Champ needs to grab his accessories. He can't grab his accessories with an open hand, so it's a pretty standard gripping hand, and it looks good, and we'll show you how it looks on the figure in a minute when we put his accessories on him. And next up, we have this mini clamp that he has and it's a pretty basic tool and it mimics the vintage figure design and it's another one of these squishy type of plastic materials so it's not really going to break unless you just twist the heck out of this thing but I actually really love the way that this is sculpted and it looks pretty symmetrical piece uh, for clamp champ to have a little mini clamp to squeeze his foes. And finally, the piece de resistance is his biggie clamp, and we will show you how the biggie clamp works in a demonstration with Beast Man in a minute. But I really love the way that this is designed and sculpted, and but I actually do wish that since this was a deluxe figure that we got some paint app on this particular clamp because it just looks pretty boring the way it is, but it's a standard clamp and I do like the accessory, but since this is a deluxe figure, I do wish that it had a little bit of pizzazz to it. And here is what Clamp Champ looks like without his armor. So let me just show you his armor. And what I was talking about earlier is just the squishy material that these armor pieces are made of. And you can bend them, you can wad them, you can do everything to them, just don't rip them. But you can do all of these things and they will pretty much come back into shape. And here's Clamp Champ all geared up with his mini clamp and his biggie clamp, which is his techno clamp. And one word of advice here, when you have a really bulky weapon that he's carrying and another weapon like the mini clamp, these figures are gonna have a hard time standing. So if you turn him to the side, you can actually see that he is angled a little bit backwards because if he's not, he's just gonna fall right on his face. Now, Beastman has graciously agreed to participate in this demonstration, so let's show you how the Techno Clamp works. And what you do is you just pull these pincers back here and they will lock in place so you can hear them snap together. And there is a button on the top where you can push and the pincers are supposed to wrap around the foe here. But one problem that I see here is that a lot of these weapons that were given with these Masters of the Universe Origins figures, they're really bulky, they're really hard to hold, and a lot of the times these accessories just fall out of the hands. Another aspect of this is that since these figures are about the same height, sometimes it's very hard to get this clamp to line up with Beastman's waist, so I'm going to give it a try here and we'll see how we do. Alright, so I think I have it lined up correctly, so let's push this clamp and let's see what it does. Okay, well that didn't work. And I'm guessing most of the time these figures are gonna fall over because they are really hard to stand. And once you bump them a little bit, they're gonna knock over, but let's see if I can get this again. And one thing that I've already noticed with this figure is because I've been putting his techno clamp in his fist all this time his fist is a little stretched out so he does have a hard time keeping hold of this clamp so i'm just gonna have to do this the ugly way hold on to clamp champ and press this button at the same time to see what happens all right and he clamped him look at that 
and the clamp actually holds really well and it can actually pick up a figure which is really cool so that's it for that demonstration and thank you beast man now i don't have a vintage clamp champ figure to show you live so i'm going to bring in a picture from the interwebs to show you some of the similarities and differences in this figure and from what i can see this figure has a lot of similarities more than differences and let's start with the similarities in the chest armor and the chest armor looks exactly the same besides the fact that there are two different shades of blue. They used a much darker blue in the vintage figure and they did have a harder plastic than this more squishy plastic that you'll find on the Masters of the Universe Origins figure. And the only difference that I can see really now is the difference in the forearm armor. And in the forearm armor in the Origins figure, it's more of a circular cuff. And in the Masters of the Universe vintage figure, that's more of a angled piece of armor that goes more up his forearm. And looking at his techno clamp, it actually looks very much like the vintage figure. I don't know if they reuse the same mold or not, but it's really a carbon copy of that vintage figure techno clamp. So there's similarities and differences, and let's move on to the Masters of the Universe Classics comparison. And taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Classics comparison, you can see that obviously the Clamp Champ from the Classics line is a much more premium figure, so they have a lot more sculpting detail and a lot more colors uh, on his chest armor and also on his techno clamps. So you can see a lot of the sculpting detail here and they did introduce some color variation. They actually gave him some darker blue underneath and you can see the straps of armor running across his chest is more of a teal. And besides that, the reds are a little bit different color. The Origins Clamp Champ has more of a fire engine red loincloth and the Masters of the Universe Classics figure has more of a deeper red. And if you turn both of these figures around, the Masters of the Universe Classics Clamp Champ comes with this apparatus on his back, and I'm actually not really sure what it is, but I think it looks kind of cool. Maybe it's helping to balance him out since these pieces are so heavy. And if we turn him around once again, oops, all right, my clamp champ's grip is already worn out and he's having problems holding his techno clamp. So I'm just gonna keep these in my hands for now. And what I was alluding to earlier was I wish that this techno clamp from the Origins line had a little bit of splashes of blues and reds like the Masters of the Universe Classics line. And you can also see some of the sculpting detail here in the pincers in the Classics techno clamp. And it's just a more premium accessory all around. I think Mattel did an excellent job with this version of Clamp Champ paying homage to his vintage figure as well as staying true to the updated Origins line. Now, for me, it's debatable whether this figure should have been deluxe, but I am happy to have all of the accessories that he comes with. Let us know what you think of this figure in the comments below, and if you like what you saw, give us a sub and a like.